Invisible Lady coming at you with Mayo Life Application Overview of the Sunday School Lesson entitled God's Covenant with Israel for Sunday, October the 8th, 2017. What is a covenant? A covenant is an agreement, promise, or vow made between two or more people. A commitment to do something, a commitment in a relationship. The lesson today took place the third month after the Israelites, led by Moses, left Egypt. The Israelites were Abraham's descendants through his son Isaac and his grandson Jacob. The standard lesson commentary says that the Israelites were acting ungrateful, just like we do today. So, because of their behavior and choices, God made a word, God had a word for them. Through Moses, the Lord informed the people that he was not pleased with their choices and behavior to worship idols of gold or silver and to ignore the Ten Commandments. So along their journey to the Promised Land, they took camp near the base of Mount Sinai. It was there that the Lord would speak to them, but there were rules that they had to follow, like keep boundaries around the mountain so they wouldn't get too close before God was ready for them. They had to wash their clothes, which may have been symbolic for freshness or cleanliness. They had to abstain from sex and avoid ceremony, rituals, and customs. This was a preparation of God's descension into Mount Sinai for their encounter with Him. God's descension was extraordinary, with sounds and sights of thunder, lightning, thick clouds, and a blasting trumpet. The people trembled with fear. So with God's invitation, Moses went up the mountain. He was instructed to warn the people not to force their way up the mountain. Later, Moses finally led the people out of the camp to meet God at the foot or base of the mountain. During their conversation on Mount Sinai, God told Moses to go down and bring Aaron, his brother, back up with him. This may have been because God was preparing him for his future role as high priest and would eventually lead the Israelites into the Promised Land. Did you know that, the, that some believe that the Promised Land encompassed Snippets of the following present-day countries, Syria, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Egypt, Greece, Lebanon, and Israel. What did the high priest do back then? Once a year, the Temple of Jerusalem, they entered the Holy of Holies, Yom Kippur, or Day of Atonement. The Temple of Jerusalem was the center of worship and national prominence in ancient Israel. The Holy of Holies was a sacred or special area in the ancient temple of Jerusalem. Priests were the only ones allowed to enter that special place. They burn incense and sprinkle sacrificial animal blood to correct or apologize for their sins, as well as for the sins of the people. They also managed the temple finances, collected taxes, maintained order as a recognized political head of the nation, could not mourn the dead, and could only marry virgins. application. Don't be headlong or rush into a reckless haste that may have disastrous results. Cooperate by following the inspired word of God. Have patience. God will come through for us in his own time. Respect God as our creator. When communicating, listen and, and get an understanding of what the other person is saying. Listen to or what you believe God is telling you to do. Being a leader is a serious responsibility because people look up to you for guidance and expect you to have integrity. God never makes a promise that he won't or doesn't keep. We have a direct relationship or commitment or connection with God through his inspired word and prayer. We can express gratitude for our blessings as well as tell him all about our troubles.